4 times 3 and a half divided by negative 2 times 5 divided by negative 7. Now that looks like a lot, and it doesn't help that it's on two lines, so I'm going to write it all across on one line here at the bottom, and then we're going to work through the order of operations to solve it. Now what the order of operations says is first you solve numbers in parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division together from left to right. Now while it may look, and then at the end we have addition and subtraction, again, which is the same thing left to right. So it may look like we have problems in parentheses, but really those aren't problems we have to solve. They're just integers, negative 2, negative 5. So there are no exponents. Now we move on to multiplication and division together from left to right. So the first problem we have is 4 times 3 and a half, which will give us a total of 14. Now we have 14 divided by negative 2. 14 divided by negative 2 will give us a total of negative 7. So we're done with this part of the equation, and we have negative 7. Our next step will be negative 7 times 5, which gives us a total of negative 35. Oh, and I could already see I forgot to add in the negative sign at this last stage here. Let's go ahead and fix that. See, that's why you got to be careful when you're showing your work. You have to make sure you bring all the signs and everything correctly. So now we have our last step. We just multiplied by 5 to get negative 35, and we have negative 35 divided by negative 7. I know that 35 divided by 7 is equal to 5, and since we have two negative signs, our answer will actually be positive. So the correct answer is 5.